So today I'm bringing y'all a 2019 Chevy Blazer RS, and man, is this one stout vehicle. Look at the headlights on that thing, with the blacked out bow tie. That's the best way to have a Chevy, if you got the blacked out bow tie, man. And y'all, it's got a sport look, and I personally, I believe this vehicle is for like the families that you know they actually have a family but they still want to have some fun too because it does have some get up and go Chevy Blazer has 308 horsepower but you got to have the RS model to have that 308 and also you get 270 pound feet of torque with this one let me show y'all up under the hood we got to get up under the hood Oh, don't worry about that interior, y'all. We'll see that. Man. V6, as I said, it puts out 308 horsepower on the RS. 270 foot-pounds of torque, man. Look at that. Let's close that hood. Embarrassing, man, embarrassing. And let's take a look at the inside. So I'm gonna start off right off the bat saying, man, this interior is one of the best interiors on an SUV that I've seen in a long time. You get automatically you get that red stitching and that red stitching goes all the way throughout the cabin i get to those air vents in a minute man those are like turbines but take a look at your seats on your seats you got the red stitching but also this is the first one for me i've never seen this you get red perforate perforated inserts which means of course this one comes equipped with heated and cool seats but the inside of it is red, man. That's tough. Let's go ahead and get in. Close this door. First thing you notice, I think, is of course that digital display, man. Get this big digital display. Man, you can toggle through all these little switches and things. You got your nav, your music, your phone, then all your settings. Super legendary, super legendary. I love this. You can go to US, the metric mode, of course. A couple of different options with this one. And this one is equipped with the auto start stop. So you definitely will get some good gas mileage with this. Let's take a look around the whole interior. That's Chevy new display, man. I do love that display. That's one of the best ones i think out on the market how responsive it is like anything that you touch it's just like almost immediate response it's pretty awesome you got all your nap uh apps yeah audio your phone navigation that's your wi-fi and yes this vehicle does have wi-fi which is man quite like almost unserious like you know i love this man you can also assign different users to this vehicle. So once you get in, you can create your own profile and it will, you know, of course it's in demo right now, but uh, when you create your own profile, you'll be able to go in and look and see, hey, when you create your own profile as a driver you can really go in all you have to do is choose who's driving and it will automatically adjust the seat the steering wheel the driving modes that you like everything man this vehicle is like something serious and like i said you get a lot of bang for your buck it gives you a, a real nice sport feel and that's one of the main things i like about it uh you also have not your apple carplay and android auto i know that's a big thing now and like today's world, you know, we're using these phones and now, man, you got all of your apps where you can go into like your Chevy app store. You can download different apps and things like that. You got OnStar with this one. Uh, 
also go in here with your climate control so you can adjust it down here which this is ultra legendary i love this like i can turn up the fan speed turn it down and then also control any of my controls there just kind of redundant buttons there but also what you can do is you can come up here in your infotainment screen and just control everything man that's super legendary i like that whenever you can control your ac from your screen oh yeah you're doing something right in life and then also you can go into your camera modes and this is what man this is the one right here so you got starting off with your bird's eye view camera and yes this one's got the full roof on it that's what you can see you know that's your actual vehicle that's ultra legendary and then you can see everything behind you that's an immediate behind you so this car has quite a bit of cameras on it lefts and right you can zoom in in the back and you can literally see everything behind you so if i put it in reverse it let me know that something's behind me but i can also go in and that's gonna tell me everything and as I get closer and closer to this car, what it does is it vibrates the seat to let you know you're getting close to something, man. Now that's awesome. And then of course on your center screen, you got it where it's letting you know too. Super, super legendary. Let's put that thing back in park. And there go your navigation screen. Now this is something new for Chevy Man. And quite honestly, I love this screen. This is one of the best and easiest screens to use. It's almost like, you know, uh, your phone, really. If you want to compare it to your phone, let's, let's see. And it's populating off your Google Maps. So that's what it does. And no, my phone is not connected to this vehicle. It does have 4G LTE, as I did state. So all I have to do is click on that and click go. Please proceed to the highlighted road. And that's Google Maps there. That's super legendary. Route guidance is now finished. That's super legendary. So man, all in all, that's the My Chevy layout. Now you can connect your phone with this vehicle. I do have a Chevy myself. I'm a Chevy owner and I use my app all the time. It's one of the best apps on the market. I love it. Let's bag out of it. Let's finish going through the interior, man. This is the passenger side. You got that red stitching that goes all the way through the vehicle. Now look at these air vents. These air vents are definitely one of them ones. You got the red trim all around the air vent. And then you can go in here and I can turn the AC down to a cooler temp just by twisting the air vent. And then if I want a hotter, I can just go back and twist it that way. That's ultra legendary. Just by the twist of a butt. So you come down the center console. You do have your wireless charging. So all you have to do is throw your phone up in there. And man, if your phone's got wireless charging, it'll charge it. Now these are your different drive modes. You got that lane keep assist, which I love. Because when I'm going down the highway, of course, it's like a super help. It's going to pretty much drive itself in the lane. That's awesome, man. And then also you have your parking assist. So I always keep that on because, you know, hey, this is going to let me know when I'm getting close to anything or where I'm at. Now, this is what I really love, the different drive modes right here. And this is how you change it. And I like how it lights up like that. And it'll let you know if it's an all-wheel drive mode or two-wheel drive or what it is. Right now, I have it in two-wheel. And then you can come up to your center console as well. And when I change it, it'll let you know it changed. Now it's on all wheel drive. That's sport mode, which is ultra legendary. So that's just gonna change the shift of the transmission, which these new transmissions are pretty good. They shift on a dime. You would also, you would almost think you're driving a sports car, man. Like seriously. Next mode we got is off road mode. So. I think that it's going to heighten your ride a little bit and um, dampen your suspension a little bit more, give you that flexibility. And of course, you got to have your tow mode in case you want to tow that boat when you're looking in that rear view mirror. Now, this isn't just an ordinary rear view mirror. I want y'all to look real close. It's a live rear view mirror. So 
you can put the regular one on just by flipping that down and then you got your ordinary rearview mirror but then it'll turn the live mode on so anything that's behind me it's gonna be in live almost like tv is kind of crazy man i ain't never seen nothing like this when i tell you gm really hit with this one they hit with this one and then we're gonna continue on and i'm gonna show you this panoramic sunroof all the way through the whole roof come off at one touch of a button but if you don't want that sun you got a whole shade that'll close up so just push that button there look at your shade closing all the way in on you then we'll pull it back open like so touch and press And then we'll press that one again. And that's to take the whole roof off it. Man. Now, when I tell you the exuberance of that, if that don't sell you, I already know. That sunroof there, man, that's that's one of those ones. When you got your, your hair just hanging out the moot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a back seat review. We're gonna see what the back seat like. Let's shut that door. And man, honestly, the back seat is pretty roomy. It's pretty spacious. Like you got a lot of leg room. I'm about 5'8". And you can see that leg room that I do have. Now, because you get a sport-like design, you do have a uh, kind of a sloping body line when it comes to the back, so you lose a little bit of headroom. But the thing about it is, with this panoramic sunroof, it also gives me a lot of headroom. Like I said, I'm actually 5'8", and I got pretty good headroom back here. Um, I'd say if you're over six feet tall, then probably it won't be the best bet to be in the back seat, at least not for too long. But a six-foot person could easily sit, sit back here for a nice little ride but just, let's go through it man you got your power outlet your usb outlet there you got your ac adapter so you do have a plug man now that's super convenient because you can charge full power that's tw 120 volts so i do like that every car should have that and then also you get your red perforated leather all the way through even the back seat you got the red stitching in the back seat. Red stitching on your doors in the back seat. Like nothing was unthought of in this vehicle. Everything was perfect. So I do love that as well. Now let's show you the trunk. Cause you gotta travel when you got a truck like this. Well, I'm sorry, an SUV. Don't roast me. So you do have like the kick tailgate. Uh oh, super embarrassing. I guess I gotta have a key with me. Hold on one second. Let's turn that off. Grab that key. And all I do is put the key in my pocket and come up and kick and the tailgate pop open, man. Now that's legendary. You got ample amount of room of course this is not a third row you probably wouldn't want a third row in this vehicle um i mean it doesn't come with one um, but you got more than enough room to fit two three big luggage bags so that's awesome and then you got your automatic tailgate all you gotta do is push that button to let it down so the kick feature i do love that because you know if you got your groceries hands full and you just come up and kick and they open now this car does have two cameras on the back you know as i stated which like i like because you get all kind of the walk around i can see all around the car and then of course you got your camera up front and there they're scanning the road as you're driving for your lane keep assist and then you got a camera right there in the grill. That's also the help for lane keepers. 
So let's take this one on a drive. Let's see how she drives. Open that door like so. Push that button. I do like the placement of this button. And she starts right on up. And once again, guys, I do gotta give a big, big shout out for Beatty Chevrolet Knoxville. Beatty Chevrolet in Knoxville, man. When I tell you, they got some legendary vehicles up there. Y'all see all the Corvettes, of course. Future videos coming soon. That's a lot of different things that's gonna come to this channel. So stay tuned, definitely. But in the meantime, let's take this Blazer on a, on a drive. All right, let's go ahead and take this Blazer on a drive. Let's get that little seat belt on, like so. Put that thing in park, drive. Now, of course, I've already driven this vehicle. One thing that I do notice and uh, love, man, is this truck drives absolutely phenomenal. It drives so smooth. It's one of the smoothest SUVs I've driven in a long time. And I know I keep saying truck, so don't roast me. I know y'all like to roast out there. Be like, oh man, he talking about he driving a uh, driving a truck, SUV truck, same thing, same difference. Hey. I'm sitting up half ultra legendary. That's how I feel. So I just want y'all to get a full kind of look of this uh, review mural and see what I mean by the live mural. So you can actually see in live time the cars and your driving as you go down the road. Super legendary, man. But back to driving. So like I said, first thing I notice when I'm driving this car is absolutely smooth, super quiet on the road. And it just really is comfortable. Like these seats, these leather seats with the perforation. I got the cool seats on right now. And man, when I tell you, like, it's comfortable. It's one of the best, best cars or SUVs I've driven. Um, I do like that sports style and the sports design. It gives me everything I need. Um, also, when you get that uh, lane keep assist, you, get, you do get the um, braking package where it helps you detect once it's you know scanning the road where it's detecting you know people's driving habits around you. And when I tell you. That's also another feature. Like right now I'm using the lane keep assist and my hands are completely off the wheel and this thing is just keeping itself in the lane as I go down the road. And it's, you know, like I said, this is one of the best ones that I've had and it will do automatic braking for you when it detects another vehicle in front of you. And it's just keeping me within the lanes and my hands as we go down the road. My hands are steady in there and you can kind of see everything still moving past behind me. So, I do like that. That's a good one there. Now, by any means, this is definitely not, you know, Tesla Autopilot. It's strictly just lane keep assist, and it's meant to, you know, help you keep yourself in the lane, help you maintain the lane as you're going down the highway. You know, of course, it'll give you a break. And the good thing that I like about it is if it can't read the lanes ever, it'll actually let you know. So, I'll let y'all look at that. So now, when it has So I'm still in the Chevy Blazer, man. And when I tell you, it's just a cruiser. Honestly, this thing is just a cruiser. But if you need to step on it, it'll move. It'll definitely move. I'll get it on the highway, and then I'll let y'all see that in just a second. I do want to show y'all, it does have that blind spot monitor. So when somebody gets in your blind spot, that light will light up there. And if you actually try to merge over while that light is lit up, you get a vibration in the seat letting you know, hey, somebody over there. So that's super legendary as well. Man, now 
Toronto. Toronto is very responsive in the Chevy Blazer. That's one thing I can say, and I barely just got on it. One thing about noticing them with these new Chevy V6 vehicles is the sound that they give off is not your ordinary uh, V6 sound. You know, it actually sounds really good. And me, you know, I love uh, V8s personally. I like that muscle. I'm not a, a ricer, as I would call it. But, um, the Chevy Blazer, it's got that get up and go. It's got a good sound to it. And all in the meantime, of course, you just cruise along the highway. Like I'm on the highway now, man. And it just rides pretty good. It rides really good. Now I'll try to get on it a little bit for y'all. And it really rides. It rides really good. I try to get on a little, little bit because it is a still new vehicle so you know it hadn't passed that break-in period but uh and the Chevy Blazer is an awesome vehicle like I said one of the best SUVs I've actually drove in a long time so now it also has you know the active it helps you like uh, maintaining your lane as well even though you might not be having your hands off the wheel, it'll still help you maintain the line. So if it detects you are uh, crossing over the line, it actually will correct and put you back in. Unless you're signaling, then it doesn't do that. A lot of people don't like the uh, auto correction thing, but me personally, I like it because you know, sometimes people drift. So it'll help you, you know, stay in that lane instead of doing all that drifting. So I'm gonna actually put it in sport mode now and just kind of see the difference of uh, what's gonna be different. <laughs> oh man, you can tell the difference. You get really good responsive steering, and for an SUV of this type, body roll is like you. Of course, you have it because it's so big, but it's not as bad as you think it'd be. For SUV of this size, it's actually really good and it's planted, um, which I do like. You don't get too much body roll when you're going in the curves. This thing's literally, it just as I'm turning, it just kind of dips down and hugs those curves. Now, like I said, by no means is this a sports car, it's not no Camaro, you know, Corvette or anything, but just for its kind, you still get your a pretty good ride if you still want to have some fun like i said i like to think of this vehicle as that um that family fun type vehicle so you know you got you your wife the kids or even as a woman you got you you know your husband and the kids y'all can still all get in the chevy blazer go out have some fun you got your off-road modes it's all-wheel drive so you know taking it down to the beach um you can do a plethora of things with this and that's what I do like it's kind of an all around vehicle whether if I just want to get up and go I can put the pedal to the metal and go and if I want to take it off road and you know nothing too major something mild I can do the same thing as well so that's what I do like Chevy Blazers by far by far a legendary vehicle and I don't see anything that's going to compete with it honestly you know you got the uh Ford Explorer, but you know, Ford Explorer and not knocking Ford or anything because I do like Ford's as well, but just the Explorer is not going to have it, it's not a good mixture of everything like I say, or as I feel, you know it's not going to have you get up and go, it's got your room but at the same time, you know are you, do you getting that sportish look, are you getting that stylish look and it's a very sleek design, so I do like that as well, and Chevy Blazer is one, one hell of a vehicle when I tell you. Man, this thing is super fun, super legendary. It's got a lot to offer. When you're in sport mode, it does hold your shifts for you as well. And I do like that, that's super helpful. So you got power on demand. And once again, my hands are just in the air and I'm just letting this thing, you know, drive itself. It, 
told me to catch it there, did want me to catch it. But once it's good, it's ready to go again. And I'm just letting it drive itself right down the road. And it, what it does, that it actually, it'll bounce back and forth kind of in the center of the lane just to make sure it's in the center of the lane. So that's a good thing, you know, as long as it's staying in that lane, I think that's what matters. Um, I've driven some older ones with the, um, or just some older Chevy vehicles with this feature. And this has by far improved significantly. But yep, well, I think we're gonna wrap this video up here on the Chevy Blazer once again. 2019 Chevy Blazer. Let's see the sticker price that Beatty has for this one. We got it at 51,300. And you can see that right there, man, 51,300. But with everything that you get, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck.